So, something I quickly have to address is that there's been a bit of a mix-up with, like, my family and stuff going on. So, that's why, um, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see that some things have been going on. I've been tweeting about it. Basically, there's been some issues with, um, a death in my family, so that's kind of why, um, videos have been slightly delayed. But I'm not going to let that ruin the Zero Productions and Sonic Kaboom. I'm going to continue full speed because my channel is currently at its prime. So, if you, like me, are curious in buying, buying another Switch game before Mario Kart 8 or after Mario Kart 8 and you're just curious, then the best option is just Google search um, Nintendo Switch games. And when you do that, you will find um, a list of all of the Nintendo Switch games that are currently confirmed. And what are, what, what, what we're, what are we seeing? Well. When I searched it up, the most, the biggest thing I was surprised about was that if you look here, you can see Call of Duty Black Ops, a game from 2010 on the Nintendo Switch. Now, is this confirmed? I haven't seen any articles talking about it, but it says that this is a game that's, that's going to be on, that's um, for the Nintendo Switch. Nothing has really been announced about it, but still, like, th that's, I mean... To be fair, we can't take this so seriously because, of course, you remember Google does the thing where they just take popular games and does that. Like, as you can see here, Dragon's Quest XI. That's a PS4 little banner at the top, so they're not really um, professional games, like professional photos that they've actually taken from articles. But still, this is, this is a thing that might happen. The other game that... Um, well, you just have to remember that Call of Duty Black Ops came out in 2010. The Switch came out in 2017, and it can easily hand off, ha handle Black Ops. So, seven years later, that that would be amazing. I would probably buy that. But the other game I wanted to talk about is Lego Worlds. Now, Lego Worlds is probably my favorite Lego game. I've never played it, but I really wanted to play it. Because, um, like, I just thought, um, uh, Lego, like, um, like, Lego games should be more about, rather than just stories. Like, things like Lego City Undercover, I actually have it for the Nintendo Switch, and it's a, it's a pretty decent game. But still, like, Lego sh games should be stuff like building at your own, at your free will, and... That's what Lego Worlds is. Now, I haven't seen any videos for it, but or like uh, promotional trailers or any of that, but it's a thing. It's, a, it's an actual thing. So that's why, like, if Lego Worlds does come, because you have to remember, this is like tw $10, $20 game on uh, uh, um, uh, Steam. So, like, of course, there are actually no $30 in the U.S., of course, um, it's probably gonna be the same price, but still, like, this is one of the games that, um, would be really nice to see, and a cu um, a couple other on, like, just one honorable mention I have to say is Cube Life Island Survival. I mean, really? Cube Life for the Wii U was basically Minecraft before it got it, and now Cube Life is pretty much dead. So, I don't know why they port that over to the Switch, but they can if they want. Minecraft is already coming out on May 11th, so, yeah. But, besides that, that's kind of what I've been talking about um, in the video. How these games aren't confirmed, but they might happen. And, of course, you have to remember, as I said before, Google does this weird thing where you can't trust them. They just pull the random stuff in. It's, it's weird, but... The fact is, Call of Duty Black Ops and LEGO Worlds are two things that should be on something like a sw like the Nintendo Switch. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. Please tell me anything I can improve in the comment section below. And see you.